Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a head alignment on your Canon printer. So basically, it's a process that adjusts the position of the printer's print head nozzles to improve the print quality and reduce color banding, as well as synchronizing the paper feed with the printer head's movement. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by the category view. And then you want to select hardware and sound. Select devices and printers. And now you want to select printers and scanners. Select your printer from this list. And then go down and select the printer properties button. Now you want to select maintenance. And now, again, this is for our specific Canon printer here, but it will work for other printers as well. So on this page, you want to select where it says print head alignment. Executes print head alignment to correct the misalignment of colors and lines. Make sure your printer is turned on, by the way. Go ahead and select that. So since the alignment involves printing, get the printer ready, connect the cable, and turn the power on. And load two sheets of A4 or letter size plain paper. The printer will print an alignment pattern. To align the print head position, click Align Print Head. To print and check the current setting, click Print Alignment Value. You can select the print alignment value first if you want to do a quick sample page to see where you're initially starting with. However, you can just jump right in and select the Align Print Head option here. And then you will need to have your printer turned on and let this run. And then it shouldn't take very long. This printer isn't connected to my computer, that's why it's not responding down here. But you guys get the point, just let it run successfully, and then hopefully I should be able to help normalize or improve the pattern of the lines on your printer output. So if it was not successful, you can select no, and then start again from the beginning. Otherwise, you can just select yes here to confirm that it resolved the problem. And that's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.